I want to start today by again wishing Leah Bradcar the very best in the future. A record of public service in this house that extends for nearly two decades, including 13 years in cabinet and two terms of Taoiseach has to be commended. It requires hard work, dedication and many personal sacrifices. Those sacrifices were not just borne by the outgoing Taoiseach, but by his partner and his family, and I think it's important to acknowledge that and their contribution too. Today, the Dáil will elect Simon Harris as the third Taoiseach of this government. It's a job more demanding than most of us can imagine. And on a personal note, I'd like to wish him well as Taoiseach and in his new role as leader of Fine Gael. However, we are facing serious challenges as a country. And in order to address them, we need new ideas. For that, we need a new government. So today, the Social Democrats will not be supporting his nomination. We need to see a radical change in approach of the crisis <coughs> facing us in housing, healthcare, disability services, childcare, and climate action. The change that we need cannot be delivered by a Taoiseach from the same party with the same programme for government and the same policies. The issues we face and will continue to face will worsen until we elect a government with a fundamentally new approach. Kian Korla, I want to start by welcoming the incoming Taoiseach's commitment to set up a new Cabinet Committee on Disability. A focus on disability is so desperately needed. Successive Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and Green Party governments have left disability services threadbare underfunded and understaffed. Disabled people and their families have to fight every step of the way for access to basic services. The reality is it's ruining people's lives. We've heard enough platitudes. We've heard enough vague commitments. We need a government that will provide the services that people are entitled to. Assessment of need, essential therapies, personal assistance hours, the list goes on and on and on. We need a government that recognises the cost of disability with a cost of disability payment. We need a government that will replace the personal transport schemes that Fine Gael abolished over a decade ago and promised to replace. Now, we need a government that will provide actual pay parity for Section 39 workers if we're to have any hope of staffing our children's disability network teams. And we need a firm commitment to naming the date for the long overdue ratification of the optional protocol. People's lives are being destroyed due to completely inadequate or non-existent services. Services that this government actually don't seem to believe they have an obligation to provide. And with that fundamentally damaging ideology at the heart of disability policy, I've come to the conclusion that the only thing that will improve the provision of disability services in this country is a change in government. But I hope that you will prove me wrong. The housing disaster is the biggest challenge facing this country. We need a government that will treat it as the national emergency that it is. People on average income have lost all hope that they will ever be able to buy a home like their parents did. The lives of over 500,000 adults still sleeping in their childhood bedrooms have been put on hold. We speak about this locked out generation a lot in this chamber, and Simon Harris has spoken about him quite a lot himself over the last few days. Because we all recognise how disastrous that reality is for people's lives and for their mental health. To have the absolute basics of adulthood just kept out of reach, unable to have privacy, to have independence, to feel any hope for a future for yourself in Ireland. How can anyone start a family when they're always a letter away from eviction? Given a few short weeks to pack up their belongings, all while struggling to find a new home in the middle of a housing crisis. A home they can afford to rent that's close enough to their workplace, to their children's school, to their own parents who provide the childcare that they can't access or can't afford. It's stressful, it's damaging, and it's preventable. Because there is another way. We could introduce a no-fault eviction ban to stem the tide of rising homelessness and provide some security for renters. 
we could introduce a three-year rent freeze so those struggling to pay rent have some relief and time to find their feet. We could stop the bulk buying of homes by investment funds so that first-time buyers are not bidding against billion euro funds. And crucially, we need to acknowledge that the developer-led model of housing dependent on the private sector for delivery has failed. We could address the affordability crisis at the heart of this housing emergency by delivering social and affordable homes at scale so that the dream of home ownership can be become a reality. All of this is achievable. Nobody is saying that it is easy, but none of the crises facing us in housing are insurmountable. We just need the political will and the determination to change course. The state needs to stop outsourcing its responsibilities to the private sector. Essential public services like housing, healthcare, disability services, childcare are fundamental human rights. They should be provided by the state and accessible to all regardless of your income. Every party in this house signed up to a plan stating as much for the future of our health service. In 2017, when the incoming Taoiseach was Health Minister, there was cross-party support for the Slauncher Care Plan, but implementation has been painfully slow. Nearly 900,000 patients are in waiting lists every day. Hundreds of people languish on hospital trolleys all over the country while children with scoliosis wait for years in agony for surgery. Providing quality, accessible and timely health care is a basic requirement of the state. But in the Midwest, the situation has deteriorated to the extent that people are actually afraid to go to the emergency department at University Hospital Limerick. This should not and cannot be tolerated. What changes are this government going to implement to make a real difference? What are they going to do in the next year that they haven't done in the last four? How can we rely on this government to deliver a crucial healthcare reform? When seven years into a 10-year plan for Slauncher Care, we are nowhere near where we should be. Kian Corla, too often this government has excelled at climate rhetoric but failed at climate action. We have a responsibility to farming communities, to coastal communities, to future generations to take steps that are ambitious enough to meet the enormous challenge ahead of us. But instead, we're missing our targets. The leader of the Green Party summed it up perfectly. We're only warming up. And are on course to face up to 8 billion euro in fines by 2030. Every second we wait to take action increases the existential threat and the costs that we face down the line. It increases the risk of floods, failed crops, coastal erosion and irreversible damages to our ecosystem. We need a government that will approach the climate action not as a burden but as an opportunity. We could have warmer homes, we could have pristine waters, we could protect and rejuvenate our biodiversity, we could become a net export of energy by the end of the decade, we could be held up as the example for the future of agriculture. We have the resources to make all of this happen and help those communities and industries that will be most impacted. This is why the Social Democrats want to see the budget surplus used to create a 6 billion euro climate transformation fund. This would include funding for rural communities for farmers to ensure a fair transition. Because change is coming and we have to embrace it. The approach of this government of leading farmers to a cliff edge before pushing them off is not just dishonest, it has been a disaster for the future of agriculture and for a natural environment. Kian Corla, the potential and desire for change in Ireland is huge. People know that we can do better. They are demanding we do better. But I don't believe that a better Ireland can be achieved with more of the same old approach that we've seen from Fine Gael for the last 13 years. Fine Gael has been in office for almost my entire adult life. The incoming Taoiseach has been in office for almost his entire adult life. Where is the new energy? Where is the new approach? Because honestly, I can't see it. 
The Social Democrats will not be supporting the nomination of Simon Harris today because we want a new approach and for that we need a change in government.